A new battle in a very public feud. I've never respected him. I've never had a lot of respect. But he's drunk on power. He really is. After President Trump stripped the security clearance from former CIA Director John Brennan, today the public dressing down. On Twitter, the president called Brennan a loudmouth partisan political hack who cannot be trusted with the secrets to our country. Brennan, who says he has no party affiliation, spent close to three decades at the CIA, serving as Mr. director President, under President Obama. Friday, he hit the president where it hurts. So there is collusion in plain sight. Brennan cites the Donald Trump Jr. 2016 Trump Tower meeting and candidate Trump urging Russia to find Hillary Clinton's emails as troublesome. But I don't know whether or not any of that rises the level of conspiracy and whether any of that conspiracy rise the level of criminal liability for that conspiracy. Brennan is a paid national security analyst for NBC. The president accuses him of making his collusion claims for TV. This was just came up lately and it's a, it's a disgusting thing, frankly. Just three months ago, the president celebrated the CIA. It is a true honor to stand here today before the most elite intelligence professionals on the planet Earth. Nobody even close. Using his power to revoke clearances set off sirens for dozens of former national security officials who signed a letter of protest. Others say ongoing access to secrets has value. The reason former officials have these clearances is so that they can turn around and give advice to their successors. In a separate development, the New York Times reports that White House counsel Don McGahn has voluntarily given 30 hours of interviews to the special counsel Russia investigation and characterized his information as both favorable and damaging to the president. Late today, the president tweeted he gave McGahn and others permission to cooperate. And the president's outside legal team tells me they believe McGahn is a strong witness for the president. He's crucial because he was often in the room for events that are under scrutiny for possible obstruction of justice. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.